So yeah, thin coat of the liquid cleared. Oh, there we go, we're done with the liquid clear, don't need that anymore. I'm gonna get some crimson, violet color crimson. And we're gonna go straight in the middle. That's mixing with the liquid clear, obviously. There we go, the violet color. There we go. Oh, it's just blend in the middle. These two colors, right in the middle where they meet. Some pure titanium white. We'll just do some different stuff and just see where it sort of takes us. Do some swirls. Something like that, just a little bit of paint. We'll go over here. You can come back and sort of brighten these spots up as well. Oh, a big bit there, look. Okay, let's blend. Okay, so taking a dry brush, we'll just blend this out and see what it gives us. Some kind of nice sky, hopefully. I'm going to stay in the crimson to begin with. There we go. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Just a little bit there. Do I come over here? Let's go back over there. There's a little bit of crimson up there, so we'll just do that. Nice little sky. We're gonna have a mountain in front of this, so it should look pretty cool. Yeah, just have just I didn't know what sky I was gonna do, but we're doing this one. <laughs> yeah, not not northern lights or anything. Yeah, I've done a few galaxies actually. I actually sold a, a print um of a uh, what was it called? Uh I can't remember now. Um Clouds of Cosmos, it's on the website. I actually sold a print of one of them today. It's pretty cool. You can go back and add a little bit here and there if you want to. We'll just go something like that. That brightens that up a little bit. Just go over this very gently. And this will just settle it all in nicely. Very light brush. You can use your makeup brush if you want to. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to do a nice mountain in front of there. That's it, it just, it just gently goes over it basically. Very gently indeed. So I've got black and just the leftover crimson and violet, and I'm just making a dark colour here basically. Just a dark colour. I might as well just use all that up. So just a dark colour there, just using up all that paint, pull it out nice and thin, we'll take a little bit on the knife there, and we're going to lay some mountains in, where, here, I'll put it there now, maybe it comes up there, there's another peak there, just going over all that colour, let's come all the way down here, Let's do a little sort of break there. We'll come down here and we'll come up there. Maybe I could have some some kind of um, waterfall coming through there, maybe or something. Get the same brush, you know, with the purple and stuff on. Just gonna pull this colour down. Just pull that colour down. I'm gonna leave it a little gap there, like I said, for maybe a waterfall. Let's see how it goes. So, we've got this paint down here. I've got a little bit of crimson. We've got this white that I've been touching on the board. Pull that flat. Let's put a streak of, streak. let's put streaks of that color in. And some red, some crimson. I'm just gonna make this sort of, there you go. And we'll do a little red in this one, so it's a little bit more like that. Some streaks of red. That one's just a little bit more potent than the other one. I'll just grab a little bit of paint. And let's start making these into some mountains. Yeah, we're gonna have some peaks coming down here. Go 
around here. Where should we have that one? Should we have it sort of coming down? Maybe it comes down here. Something like that towards us. Maybe this one comes around there and then up and then phew. It's coming right down that one, isn't it? Sort of, oh yes. I'll just create all them little things in there. of these mountains we're going to see. The red crimson, I'm just adding a bit of that dark mountain colour underneath and making a darker colour. Well, that's quite nice already. And let's put some streaks of that colour in there like that and don't mix it up. And we can just go across, a little roll of paint, and we can come and put some shadow colours in. Something like that. And this one here, maybe that sort of... Just put that like that. On that kind of dark over there, that's nice. Just lift up a little bit, pull that mist up. Let's go something like that. There we go. Right, let's miss this out. Just want a little bit of mist there. Right, that's where I want the water to come through, so. come down here I'm just gonna create some water trying to match it I'm not necessarily gonna have a reflection as it were on the mountain but I'm trying to get a bit of bright color where it may be so we'll go to something like this I'm not gonna go right over there I don't know where this water's going to be, so I'm just doing the whole lot and then adding the land after. I'm going to pull down here. Just pull down. Go up into there. Pull this down. Right, there we go. Got a nice sort of streak going on there. And then we're going to make this into some water just by going across here. We'll get a nice sort of sheen. Look at that, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Probably this dark paint here. Sort of lavenderish colour. I suppose I could do the tops of some trees around this area. Into the into that mist. Fill all this in and we'll put a nice little bit of mist in there too. Distant trees. be some some sort of shadow in the water. Pull that down into the water, go straight across. Here it is, comes all the way down to here. And there we have a tree, it lives in your brush, you just need to push it out, see? Put a few little stalks that you might be able to see. sign this off if you want a painting of mine there's plenty of originals on the website and of course prints there we go